What's up guys? This is the Brothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to remind you what happened last time, uh, the French are really unhappy that we took Quebec and they are sending many many stacks to intercept us here. Uh, we have landed an army near New uh, not Newfoundland, uh, Fort Nashwack, to attempt to open up a new front and we also have We've made peace with New Spain after taking Colombia, but then the Prussians sold Antigua. No, the Prussians bought Antigua, sorry. So we're continuing to push up, and we're going to liberate the Prussians of their new territory. So without further ado, we're going to intercept these forces, and then cut them down with our musket fire. B. In the region around Quebec, as far as I can see, there must be seven or eight full stacks of troops. And we've got nearly two. So, to uh, cut them down. And we've got the good terrain part. So I want my guns involved to help support my line. But I do want to be aware of the fact that they might, the deployment might screw us. Even though they're both together, um, on the campaign map. Trees aren't the aren't the best thing to deploy in, but I'm not going to redeploy my whole formation. Sorry, everyone. I had a surprise cough that time. Okay, let's deploy my some more infantry then behind the lines deploy our marines our pikes and our grenadiers don't screw us deployment no deployment what did I say specifically about not screwing us over Okay, so let's send up our some of our troops. To attempt to uh, bring them down a peg. And then our grenadiers and some infantry. You guys need to get over here. Along with some cavalry, some artillery, to try and provide some sort of uh, blocking force, I guess. You guys run. Cross the airs over. Push my line up. Switch my howitzers to firing cool shot. The guns that we've got firing, we need to just open up. Pikemen go intercept the general's bodyguard. Oh no, they're going to get to my artillery. Lame. Oh well. It's that cop and that eases my deployment. Okay, Kuros here. Let's bring you round ready to chop up this line infantry unit. We've got more artillery where that came from. There you go, the general's been killed. There we go, my cassiers will have a go at them. 
my... Okay, now I might start to pivot some of my artillery support, or how it to support, to help reinforce my uh, my blocking army, because uh, right now they're, they're, they're in trouble a bit. A lot in trouble because it's mostly militia coming in a unit at a time. Before you shoot, get to the top of that hill before you miss. Before you you miss most, before most of your shots end up going into the hill. See, so what I'm hoping is my cavalry can beat this infantry in good order to then move on to knock out this cavalry although they have had the the misfortune to charge their cavalry into quite an elite infantry unit charge my cavalry in. So that other combat, I didn't really want to do it, but it is how it is. Okay, you guys carry on chasing down the line infantry. How's this looking over here? Looking all right. Okay, let's now unkink this line. You stay out of the way for now. There we go, we're pushing them back. Silly, silly Frenchman. Okay, broken, shattered, shattered. Take this hill, man. These three units. Withdraw. counter battering us with quicklime the devils okay maybe you guys don't take this hill exactly instead you do this and then you guys regroup and our cavalry runs through here and knocks out their artillery how about that You guys hit the line infantry coming in. My general, no, not my general, my pikes were going to go after that militia unit. A quick climb shell coming in, probably. Nope, round shell. No, it was quick climb, it just fell short. Come on, you guys open up. Take him out. There we go. There goes the guns. There goes the guns. And soon the guerrilla mercenaries will be done. Let's get my cavalry into the mix though because I would like to knock out 
those gun crews. firepower to bear as my line infantry is coming in to reinforce artillery just keep engaging their infantry because that's the core of their force if we knock that back then they're done pikemen attack that militia unit where's my cuirassier yeah chase down what they've got left over here because you're pretty tired Anyway, everyone else start nailing it back. My pike should be having a grand time against these colonial militia. Men. They got artillery back here? Yeah, they have. Okay, you guys limber up. Not that realistically my field artillery is going to have too much to do. Lovely carcass shot. There we go. The 32nd, they've been fighting all over the front. You guys halt fire for now while my line infantry passes. Now fires at will again. Now they're back. So you guys run over here. Let's see the cavalry's moving in. Pikemen are still doing a good job against their militia. Cavalry's coming in. Although, it's light cavalry. They've not really got a uh, particular target. They're just kind of milling around. They started to form into a nice block for our musketry to tear them to shreds. Oh, the, can the carcass shots coming in as well. Who's this? Native warrior auxiliary moving up. first you better reload pretty ricky tick because you've got a bunch of angry native americans coming in they shouldn't be as upset with us because we've not done too much colonizing in that part of the world charge the pikemen in they've got the cavalry on the flanks let's knock you guys into square it's a bit of a some protection. You guys form up over here. Native Americans have routed. You guys are probably going to die from musketry from my square. Bring my general down and around to go intercept their artillery. Because it is guard artillery, so it's not exactly pants. Okay, 
accuracy. Yeah, it's going to slowly trot back in now. Deadly close fire to the backs of the 51st Regiment. Okay, so now my decent units, or my units that are still intact, advance. General's gonna run. Native warrior auxiliary don't know quite where they're going to charge. Cavalry here charging again. Let's get the general's bodyguard down here. Pivot my infantry here to prevent any friendly fire. They disappeared. They gone. They decided to hide. There they are. Halt my artillery fire now. My field artillery. I limbered it up. I haven't even moved them. Oh, thankfully they're all in gun teams, so they will die hard and fast. Native troops are doing okay. Let's speed up time. Because ultimately, there's only so much damage we can do with our one cavalry unit in good nick. So we're only going to really chase down and kill one unit. Come on. Kill, 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 kill. Two. Charge down this colonial militia unit, but they they are going... Well, I don't know, actually. I was going to say they might rout, but they've taken a bit of a... They have changed direction. There we go. Managed to do some good damage to them. They've lost nearly 4,000 men. You guys push back. You guys shouldn't be able to sustain that rate of losses for too long. But fortunately, they've given us the... Uh, the chance to push back. So, the Ottomans are going to declare, to declare on us at some point. It's pretty inevitable. Oh no, I've just realised something. Which probably makes me crazy dumb. Uh, <laughs> so... Well, it's not itself the end of the world, actually. To build steam engines. Oh no, I can't. Okay, phew. Oh, uh, it's, it's interchangeable parts that requires. One of these requires. Oh, okay, we do. It's wealth of nations. I was concerned that I couldn't build steam engines without a top tier political tech. Turns out we can. Sweet. Construction report. Okay. Going back, so you've got lots of troops down here. Caracas, we're not using yet. Upgrade some of our ports. New port emerges, Puerto Bello. So let's put a trade port and let's pick up a militia unit, still cheaper. So we continue to march onwards. 
still spying here because I was wondering, I was thinking, oh no, what do I do? Turns out though, we do have a... It's not a bad army. I could just push Paris. It's very tempting to push it and try and make peace. Very tempting. But for now, I'm going to resist the temptation because I do want to push here. So let's go to Fort Nashrak, demand surrender. Let's just take it without any, without any bloodshed. Let's repair. We haven't got any ports, so this territory is not very well developed. Because you do end up getting Cap, Cap Fourchou and Louisburg being developed. Seven turns, actually, so it's not very long. In okay, you replenish. You are replenishing. Okay, let's take... Okay, pick. My unit's got lots of experience, but let's still just... Uh, your colonial line, okay. Strange, really. I've got, I've got a colonial. I've got a lot regular line infantry unit knocking about. But I suppose that means somewhere I've got. Well, they would have been part of my original attacking force, wouldn't they? All the way from the original, all the way from the, uh, the motherland. Okay, you guys can march in here. Yep, guys, we're creating four units of artillery, and that will be that army done. They're pretty damaged. To be honest, lots of these, lots of these turrets, lots of these armies are actually going to be more depleted than than we give them credit for. Signore. But still, doesn't mean we can't we can afford to uh, ease up. We've got to keep growing our armies to respond to uh, this build-up. While this guy, he can push on to Falmouth, actually. He can probably do it now without too much trouble. I mean, this, this guy is concerned because it's a unit of militia that could cause problems. So let's march via the north. I think I can get my fourth rate to peak at Falmouth without getting within range of the navy at Plymouth. Yeah, Falmouth itself is unprotected. Oh no, I can't leave. I thought I could. Um, okay, but apart from that, I think that's, everything's done that can be done. The only thing that we can do is now... Well, steam engine needs to be done in seven turns. We're on it. We're on it as fast as we can, but until we can get it done faster, I need to just build up my navy to fight whatever the uh, whatever the Ottomans decide to throw at us. Mm, you really, yeah. Let's recruit a unit of provincial cav for that unit there. Okay, let's hit end turn. You're on your way down to Venice. Yeah, you can see they've got lots of dockyards on the Adriatic. The uh, the Prussians. Okay, they're marching out to the north. But every turn they don't attack is another turn that our forces have to build up. Really. That's all there is to it. They're not even offering us money now, because they have no money. Mm-hmm. Off Sweden marches. See, we could try and take Mexico, but as far as I can see, they've not got a top-tier university. New Granada. They're unhappy, but now they're okay. Um, so you sloop, you can sit in Cartagena. 
let's upgrade the sugar warehouses. Ooh, I could probably borrow another sloop, actually. I oh, know, that's why I recruited militia, dummy. Across the frontier, into Prussian territory. Two sugar plantations, new Granada was built, and so was the roads in Bogota. So you're going with 31. Vittorio Fran. Gratiscorio. Someone important. Although not necessarily someone good. Minus five religious unrest. He's bad at the treasury. He increases lower class of happiness, which is good. Hmm. You're the kind of guy that I put in charge of here in the Americas. He's getting bo he's creating bonuses for tax income, which is actually quite substantial, really. Well, it should be anyway. Uh, policies. Probably can't really figure it out. Although actually I can now probably do... Crank it down. So I'm going to reduce my income by 5,000. That's a lot. But the idea is to spare growth in the longer term. So I can march these guys down here. There we go. If you send enough... If you send enough forces, you can end up auto-resolving fairly confidently. Okay, so there's the first stack of troops we've seen. So from the back here, start to pick up some militia. I don't want militia, but I'm going to send them forward to help bolster our forces if they, if needs be. March you... Okay. okay, 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 okay. What's the best way to play this? Keep you nearby is definitely the way to do it. It probably means taking this general out. Let's change our recruitment order. Let's blast out one turn of infantry. Keep you guys nearby. Probably drop in. Do something like that. Let's take the cavalry out and the militia. Actually, no, keep. Hmm. Okay, keep take keep one unit of two units of cavalry in there. All oh, right, I, I've got to do it the other way first. Okay, do that. Take out one unit of cavalry and one militia unit out. Drop two more infantry units in. Keep you Adios. nearby. They may go all the way around us, but that's okay. You're still marching on. Twelve grand. Go to Gum's Palace. We could upgrade the commercial base in here. Upgrade the Governor's Palace. Let's get rid of these buccaneers because they no longer serve a purpose. Okay. Let's hit enter. Come on, France. Declare war on Prussia. That's what I want to see. Ooh, intercept. Intercept one army. Yes, please. Um, but looking at the timer, I'm pretty close to the end of the episode. So I'm likely not going to fight this in this episode. But... <laughs> yeah, again, we're going to be fighting near Quebec. But that's not surprising, really, because we've got significant amounts of enemy forces in the region so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for yet another battle before the walls of quebec and hopefully this one's a bit more entertaining than the last radio cheers everyone <laughs>